All right, welcome to Softflow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. Check it. The plane has landed, right? The plane has landed in Jamaica, and our brothers and sisters who just get fling out of the UK, whichever way you want to look on it, them just get fling out of the UK, right? Our brothers and sisters are back home in Jamaica now, exiled from the United Kingdom on this charter flight thing. Before I go into that, though, this is what I want to say. I want to put some helpful information out there because I know right now, regardless of what, we, what I'm going to say after this, I know right now that there are people, family members, whether it be a brother, sister, mother, father, a lover, a loved one, they are worried about where the hell their people are right now because them dep on the plane that would just get fling out. They are worried about if their people are going to be okay tonight and in days to come. They're worried about their future for their family members that just got escorted out of the country, right? Out of the United Kingdom. So, if you are one of those people that know somebody or you are watching SoFlow TV, check this out. This information right here, I have to give to you. Now, the name of this organization in Jamaica is called the National Organization of Deported Migrant, Okay? The N-O-D-M, National Organization of Deported Migrant. Go and get your pen and paper, write it down, get in touch with your people and tell them to get in touch with the National Organization of Deported Migrants. Remember, I know it's on SoFlow TV right here. We just did. Click the link in the description, you will see the video. And when we do these topics, what we're trying to figure out is how we in Jamaica, how is Jamaica going to deal with this? Because there's nothing we can do on the American end, the Canadian end, uh, the United Kingdom end. There's nothing we can do on that end. Those people govern their laws in their country. So when they grab with brother and sister them and put them on the plane with mother with father and them and fling them out of them country, we have to figure out now in Jamaica how we are going to handle that there boots on the ground, right? Let's not cry over spilled milk. One thing I never encourage for my people is I never encourage a lackadaisical attitude. I never encourage to blame somebody. I never encourage to sit down and act like you feel sorry for yourself and this self-pity and it's the end of the world kind of attitude. I never encourage that because you cannot survive effectively in this world if you take on that type of a demeanor, right? So, Again, before I go any further, tell them to get in touch with the National Organization of Deported Migrants, the NODM in Jamaica. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the National Organization of Deported Migrants quickly, right? The I'm actually on their website right now. The National, Deported, the National Organization of Deported Migrants, or the NODM, is a not-for-profit organization that was established May 2011 by a cadre of deported migrants, most of whom had participated in a EU, UN, or UN on funded rights and awareness research workshop led by Professor Bernard Headley on the Mona campus of the University of the West Indies from 2009 to 2011. For this study, Professor Headley linked his approach to that of Brazilian educator Paulo Freire to hear first directly from the objects of a planned project of program what they want to be called, how they want to be defined, treated, and understood. Our approach to reintegration and resettlement is the product of this research and it demonstrates the depth of our commitment to the reintegration and resettlement of all deported persons into Jamaica. So pay attention to that people, all right? The thing, it's actually, I'm gonna crack all the way down to the end. Through dedication and commitment to the cause of reintegration and resettlement, that is going to be the challenge. Reintegration and resettlement. So if you're concerned about your loved one, please tell them to look for the NODM, okay? Because they focus on that, all right? They will be able to link up with people who have been through the same thing that they're going through right now. And these people have already been reintegrated and resettled. And they can actually hold their hand in a proverbial, proverbial sense and walk them down that path. Now, 
The story started out today by me saying the plane has landed, right? Click the link in the description. This is the video that was leading up to this event that happened today, okay? Now, it says that a number of deportees arrived at the JCF Mobile Reserve in Kingston today, which is Wednesday. I don't know what day you're going to be seeing this. After being sent on a flight from the United Kingdom to their native Jamaica. The return Jamaicans arrived about 11 a.m. on a charter flight at the Norman Manley International Airport. They were then put on a bus and taken to the mobile reserve where they are being processed. A number of people including family and friends of the deportees are now gathered at the facility and are observing the proceedings. It was the second deportation flight out of the UK since September of last year, right? September of 2016 to March of 2017, this is the second flight out. When 42 persons were returned to the island, that was September of last year. Jamaica's Constabulary Force personnel, an officer of the Diaspora, Protocol and Consular Affairs Division of the Foreign Affairs Ministry, as well as representatives of the National Organization for Deported Migrants, NODM, a non-profit governmental organize, a non-profit, non-governmental, that means they are not for profit and they are not working with the government. They are not attached to the government. Okay? NGO funded by the British High Commission. So I don't know people, you see one time England come and did a talk about so we take prison deal and we say no we don't want a prison deal there you know. I still stand by that. We don't want no for prison deal. Jamaica don't need no prison. Okay? Now with that being said, I also said that we have to figure out a way that we can actually monitor who is coming back into the country and what they are bringing with them into the country. Whether it's a criminal mentality or whether it's sickness inside of the body or sickness of the mind and all these kind of things. We have to find a way to shuffle them people here through and to get them reintegrated and resettled back into our society, right? Glad to see that NODM is a part, is one of those organizations. The thing that caught me off guard though was that the NODM, the National Organization for Deported Migrants, it is actually funded, it's actually funded by the British High Commission. Hmm. So you're telling me that they're act them are fling people out of the UK into Jamaica, but they actually have an organization that they fund there that actually helps them to get resettled and reintegrated back into the society from which they came. What do you think about that? Like, comment, share, subscribe as usual, but leave your comment in the comment section below what you think about that. What I honestly think about that is this. When you get to the point, right, where you have been deported, there's nothing you can do after that. The plane landing in Jamaica, you up on the plane, you're going to have to get off that plane and you're going to have to go live your life. You're going to have to go build again from scratch if I scratch your thing dead. Some people, however, have been working over the years and they did I listen to Buja Bantan when Buja did I say things change, no one says say life hard. Why you never send the money come my yard? You wretch you, you spend the whole night abroad. Squander your money now you live in life dog. Why get the port come down in a one pants? Broken on the money, no me no response. No abiding city, no pressure for me rants. And when him the offering him did important, but he never did a look back, never did a glance. Never know him would a tumble over rock and a balance. Mama dung in a de hole and him don't buy her a lamp. Not a line, not a letter, now a 50 cent stamp. Hmm. One time gone, but just say, Benz and Wem say him used to have. Right? Now I'm come back one scandal bag, nothing else. Some people that reach. If you're one of them people that was listening from way back then when Bojo make them song there and you did a plan up and a set your thing straight a yard. You come back home, them dip you now, you probably a laugh and I say, Chuck, me have me run, I'm good, right? Me I go back home now, go farm up some food and relax and, you know, so me, me everything else set, that's all. Now me can't open business, see how the place I run, all that. For those, the majority of them aren't that. So they're going to need that help. 
for those people that are going to need that help, I'm telling them, go look up the NODM, the National Organization of Deported Migrants. Go and look them up. They will be able to help you with your reintegration and your resettlement into the island of Jamaica. Now, people, never said this in closing, right? I will never support a lackadaisical, I don't care, I don't know and don't want to know kind of, I choose to be ignorant kind of person. I say a lot of story I run, not a lot, but I've seen some story running where people have said, oh, he's, she was deported after 25 years and three kids in the UK and whatever. I don't know a person's personal story, but I'm telling you this, okay? That's why I say my mother, my mother a warrior, you know. Yo, my mother a yo, I say warrior, that's a warrior, you know. Check it out, man. When you come in at the people in place, illegally, your first priority is to become legal. How the frig you sit down in at the people in place for 25 years, and breed up and have picnic, and sit down there comfortable, and you know, straight. Your papers not straight, and one day them can just grab you and dip you, so. In, if, 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 if I ran away to somebody's country, I'm in there long enough for I have picnic and everything, and I'm there for 25 years, they would have to be stripping me of citizenship in order to deport me. That is what I'm trying to tell you. And believe me when I tell you that over the past 25 years, there have been a lot of people that came into foreign lands to include, include the US and the UK, came into them country there illegally and made themselves straight. First priority. And then them can go on like say, all right, no, this and this are going to go on. I don't know how the hell you become a victim. You make yourself become a victim like that. And then you want somebody to tell your story. Me not run down that story there here, sir. The only story I can tell you, I mean, I said I would put on front page, is if they're telling me that, yo, this person been in the UK since they were two years old, and this person got citizenship, and they're a full British citizen, UK, British passport and everything, and then stripped them of their um, citizenship and deported them. That's a story that would be worth talking about. But if you're going to tell me, say, you left Jamaica as a big grown-ass person, right? Whether it be in your late teens, early on, adulthood, or whatever. If you left like that, you sit down in the people in place for 25 years, and your paperwork not straight, come on, man. I can't support that. A lot of the times, you see, our people, them, them get into some, some, some um, situations that they themselves contributed to. I'm not talking about the people who um, find themselves in a sticky situation and there's really nothing in their control. They have actually tried everything in their power and it's just still not working out for them. I'm not talking about those people. Life happens. Shit don't go as we plan it all the time. Sometimes we fall on hard times. Okay? But you see for the people them where actually go in at the other people them land and you over there and now you come back to Jamaica come talk about I want like a bag of weed, them catch my dog and them deport me for this. When them people are uh, enough cocaine, them people are uh, ship going to other people country. Enough other country, them people are uh, invade and mash up. That has nothing to do with you as far as you pleading your case. You can't go in a no court of law or tell the judge about I want bag of weed, I got deport me for dog. When the British Empire done slave out Jamaica a long time and uh, they don't want to hear that. They don't care about that. Anybody who side with that and repeat that stupid shit is someone that is perpetuating the same bullshit that I'm talking about. And as long as y'all keep, for those people, as long as them keep that kind of mentality, keep the plane ride them coming because they will always be coming as long as people are around thinking that right there. Here I'm Asatuna in closing, right? Remember to go to this organization and get some help if you are in a position one of those people that just came off of those planes that are coming in. It's just the beginning. It's just the beginning, baby. It's about to go down. It's going to get worse, okay? It's going to get worse. So brace on yourself, prepare on yourself, educate on yourself, and get ready. Yeah? Stop feeling sorry for yourself. That's all I got to say. Go and check out the NODM, a non-governmental -orga non organization. It's the non-governmental organization. It's an organization for deported migrants in Jamaica. Go and go check them out if your family members are in this predicament. And they will be able to help you to get back on your feet.
feet. Alright? It's Soflow TV, man. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I am up out of here. Peace.